Uh, my name is Benjamin King. I'm the Director of Operations at LiveLink Aerospace. So in the, in the last few years, we've seen uh, many uh, issues around the world uh, that involve drones. Um, uh, certainly for LiveLink Aerospace, one of the um, defining moments in the company's history was um, the incident at Gatwick uh, a few years ago. And the chat around the water, water cooler at the time at LiveLink Aerospace was, why couldn't they see the drone coming? Why could they not do something about it? So we set out to develop technologies that would allow uh, uh, stakeholders such as Gatwick or other airports to be able to see uh, where a drone is, what it's doing um, and identify and, and detect it as soon as possible so that uh, action can be taken. The LiveLink Aerospace system uh, works on many levels. Uh, it's designed to identify, track and potentially defeat drone aircraft. Um, we have a number of sensors that we produce in-house. Uh, one is our RF sensor, uh, which is a passive sensor, listening to the radio spectrum that comes from a drone or a handset. That's a passive system and it allows us to identify where a drone is in the sky. And if you have more than one of these sensors, you can triangulate the position uh, of that particular piece of RF and then track it through the sky. LiveLink Aerospace has been involved in three uh, different data projects uh, since we started the company. Um, we have managed to uh, effectively grow our company using these projects, um, uh, hiring very skilled engineers, software engineers, hardware engineers, uh, algorithm designers um, to be able to bring these technologies together and output something that is very credible. Uh, we have now grown the company by about 50% um, almost directly really by using data uh, funded projects uh, and now we have a product that has been uh, accepted by the Royal Navy um, and the RF sensor component of our system is now going to be protecting the, uh, the fleet of the Royal Navy um, as a direct result really of data funding um, being able to allow us to develop this technology. As part of the route to being able to uh, develop product that the Royal Navy is happy with. Uh, of course, they won't just uh, buy off the shelf. Uh, you have to prove that your system works. And the way that we did that was we installed four of our PDAR sensors onto the Patrick Blackett. Uh, it was the first uh, commercial sea trial of a product such as ours on the Patrick Blackett since it was commissioned. Uh, and we're very happy to say that uh, it was a very large success and uh, as a result uh, we now have the Navy contract for protecting uh, their frigates, their minesweepers, uh, some uh, roll-on roll-offs uh, within the Navy fleet. I think data funding is very important to any small uh, company that is looking to accelerate its path to growth. Uh, certainly for us without having any uh, data funding or data projects to be able to hang funding on, we wouldn't be where we are today. Uh, we're certainly very grateful. Being able to interface with data is, is actually relatively easy. Of course, there are um, uh, checks and balances to ensure that you, are, uh, you, you have something to offer. Um, but if you do, uh, then I would highly recommend uh, using a data route project uh, to, to fund development within a company, uh, certainly an SME.